go to those museums. I push myself to read those books and just learn new elements about life. You know, talk to different kinds of people from different places, and I pull all that in and I write music. I'm tired of begging them. I'm not gonna be begging them for no beats. I'm, I'm just gonna go buy all the stuff for myself, and I'm gonna learn how to do it myself. Set my soul on fire Just three seconds One, two, three And bomb voyage for poor old me I got on Craigslist I think it's like 24 key Like it's like a little small keyboard But it was like enough where like I could start It was a good start So I started making these dumbass beats <laughs> They were so dumb and bad They were horrible But to me they were the most beautiful creations Because it was the first thing that I ever did Girl. My name is Wally Ali. I'm a musician. Been a musician for almost 45 years now. Okay. Okay, 1971. And uh, I got a chance to work with the original Funk Brothers, Earl Van Dyke. Eddie Bongo, uh, Eddie Willis, Pistol Pete, drummer, all the guys. I sacrifice a lot of time, and when I say sacrifice the time, I don't mean just burning time in the studio. I sacrifice time to my craft. Find a girl with an open heart, head blowing in the wind. thinking about like stopping the modeling thing and going with something else but I always like really like to do it and Sean's just a person that he's been through so much shit and he's been showing me that whatever you go through it doesn't matter you can do anything that you say you're Okay. So when I grew up, basketball was free. It was always free. You could always rely, no matter where you moved. Because, you know, me growing up, I moved a lot with my mom, so we moved a lot. A lot more than usual. I'm drunk, but no, I didn't drive. Open the door, baby, and let me inside. Late nights at the studio, always in my zone. I lost track of time. I'm not trying to play you, curry wild. See that right That's, that's kind of how I survived as a kid, is like making friends with the basketball court. Because basketball, you didn't need money to play basketball. All you needed was your skills, and somebody already had a ball, and the, and the city gonna provide a park. But basketball is free. It, it allowed me to meet a whole lot of people. Those are things that can keep you out of trouble real quick. You know, you could be a part of something that was bigger than yourself and it can teach you, you know, morals and values that most kids, you know, if you having problems at home, you don't get that at home. So basketball kind of saved me in a lot of ways. She's doing real well, man. I'm about to put her through her first show. 
uh, that's coming up on November the 18th. That's gonna be out here. And then I got, so I'll have a show there and I'll bring her out basically for the first time. Uh, all her music is ready to go, so it's cool. Aside from him being like a teacher to me, a vocal teacher, but just looking at him as an artist is really inspiring because he, he has all the control and he's creating all this music for himself and putting on these shows and that's what artists should be doing. But some, most of the time we kind of wait for a manager to come along or wait for a label to come along or somebody to come along and make it happen and to see him just go for it and do it just by itself. I'm like, oh, I can totally do that. I can totally do that for myself. Game over, I won. New rules. Pig. No, I know now. I saw you know now. Carson. Baby, what's up? How was your day? Tell me, girl, how you been doing? Me and my girls, we just went shopping on and about the So it's cool. It's exciting for her. And then I got a show on the 22nd in Seattle. So I'm going to go from a show in L.A. to a show in Seattle. Back to the chorus. I know, you never expect, you never expect to like where you're from when you start somewhere, you never expect that you can end up in LA 10 years later living your dreams and doing what you love to do. Understanding how to build my own platform. Yeah. Say something funny? Uh -huh. I got a fart. <laughs> Tariq.